Let's uh, keep things rolling here on the set with the leader of the Giants. We're talking about Bishop Brady, head coach Tony Johnson, back in the Granite State after a stint down in Massachusetts. He had a long run at Bishop Girton. Anyway, thanks for coming out. Thank you. Great to be here, though. All right, Tony Johnson with the, with the Bishop Brady Giants. So this is different for you, kind of a smaller school. Um, what's the team like this year? Well, it's a little bit different this year because a lot of kids that we had last year were relatively new. You know, we, get, we gave them more experience, got them into the system. We have a good team. It's, it's interesting because the, the quarterback is very, very similar to the quarterbacks I've had at Girton. Um, Matt Wiley is about 6'1". He's about 180. He can run. He can throw. Uh, he likes to run, so uh, he's going to run that offense. Um, my other, my other uh, captain, um, A.J. Partington, uh, he's a great kid, tough kid. He's played multiple positions, linebacker, center, may play some running back. So, but it's a little bit different because, again, the, the, the size of the team is, is much different. So how many kids do you have in the program? So this year we got 26. Wow. So we may go up to 28. Um, a little bit, again, a little bit different, but it's much better than last year. Last year I started out, when I, when I first took the job in July last year, I had six kids. And we got it up to about 21, but again, a lot of the kids had never played the game before. So all of those kids are, on, are now back. So they're, 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 they're much better football players. So it's going to be an interesting season because, again, these guys know how to play football now. And it is Division Four, so 26 kids in a program isn't necessarily unheard of. No, not in, not in Division Four. I mean, what I'm finding out, you know, Division Four right now, I think Newport is the lead leader. Uh, and I think they have about 45 kids. Uh, most of the teams have anywhere between 24 and 35 kids. So we're right in there. we got to get the program up over 30. If we get the program up over 30, I can get a JV program going, and that's... That'll be important for the kids. Uh, so we mentioned Bishop Gurdon. You were there for how many years? You won, what, five or six state championships? How many years were you at BG? Um, I think 18. 18. So it was a long time. Yeah. It was a long time. You took yeah. your bumps early, but then you turned that thing into a powerhouse program right. every year. What? So, I mean, what do you bring with you? I'm assuming you just bring the same coaching style everywhere you went. You right. had that stint at Worcester Academy right. after BG. Right. Same. It, it, uh, actually, it's a carbon copy. I mean, the, the, the same stuff that I originally started at Girton, we're still doing at Brady. Now, I've morphed it. You know, everybody was starting to do what Chip Whoa. Kelly was doing. So we started out as, as an Army-Navy option attack. Then Chip started going to a shotgun, Oregon, you know, jet motion. We started putting that in. Then I took a bunch of stuff from Pat Murphy that was at St. A's. So we put that stuff in. So it's really morphed into a pretty good elaborate offensive system. The defense is the same thing. But when my kids, when some of the kids from Girton come to a game and they hear me call the plays, it's the same stuff. We have a lot of old video from your uh, days at BG <laughs> winning all those state championships. How many was it? Five? Six? I don't know. It was five or six anyway. Yeah, it was, I don't know. You had some good players though. I we think had some of great like players. Andy Bayless went on to play at UNH. Uh, like Mark Spinney, yeah. Steve Travellini, you know, Matt Fabaco, Tommy Manti. You know, there, there were a lot of kids. I think I had. Four kids that had shots at the NFL. And just to throw some needles in there, I will mention that it's Bishop, it was Bishop Girton, so you had kids from Massachusetts, out of state as well. Well, we are a border. That was a border school. So, I mean, I went to Girton from Amherst, and a lot of the kids from Lowell that were friends of mine, they actually took them less, to get to, less time to get to Girton than it took me. All right, so Bishop Brady this year, what, uh, what are your hopes, expectations? What, what are the kids looking forward to? Um, there, it, it's a lot. I mean, the, the, again, last year was a building year. Last year we had COVID. It was different. We were playing a lot of Division II teams. You know, we, we really couldn't compete until we got down to a couple of Division IV teams. So the expectations this year are going to be much, much higher. Um, the competition, I think, is going to be right where we should be. So, you know, we start out with, with um, Epi Newmarket. Um, we had a good game with them last year. We should have a good game with them this year. The, the following week we'll, we go against Newport. They're going to be very, very good. Um, so we've got to just make sure that we handle that game. We don't come out of there uh, banged up. You know, the good news, too, is I have three Thursday night games. So that's going to be pretty good, too. Well, that's good for Friday night football as well. Right, yeah. right, right. All right, Tony Johnson, hey, thanks uh, for taking the time. and Good luck to the Giants this year. Thank you. Thank right. you. I appreciate it. Tony